Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me start off by wishing all of you a happy 2019. This is my first video that I'm filming this year. I have had a bunch of pre-recorded stuff going up and I think I have a few more videos that will go up. And so I'm just really excited for a new year and it's always a fresh start, so that's really exciting. I definitely have learned so much from 2018. I'm gonna do a few videos. I wanna do a favorites video, but I get so like anxious about favorites videos. It's really weird. I'm gonna, I'll talk about that some more some other time. But anyway, today I wanted to play with some new makeup, which is why I don't have any makeup on, in case you guys were wondering. And I've made the boo boo in 2018 where I bought so many palettes. And so I took a poll on my YouTube community tab. So if you don't, check out or you didn't know I have a community tab which is awesome because it's like a Facebook wall remember when the Facebook wall was a thing and so I took a poll and I gave you guys like four options of eyeshadow palettes that I had and asked you which one you wanted to see a review on first and you guys all said the Olimar Cosmetics palettes so I was really excited. I bought both of them. It was like a bundle or I don't know what I did, but I bought both of them. I do have a swatch party video on these palettes. If it's up, I will try and remember to link it. It's gonna be one of my resolutions for the year is to remember to link stuff when I say I'm gonna link it. And so I wanted to do a look with this palette and honestly I was kind of leaning towards using this guy because it just seems like my vibes right now, but I'm also wearing like a pink do you see that? And tan colored sweater. By the way, this sweater is from Old Navy in case any of you wanted to purchase. But I wanted to do a look. I have some more new makeup. I bought the Malika, oops, the Malika palette from the Chloe and Becca collab. The reason I picked this one up is because I had a 20% off coupon. I would Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it, to be very honest. And I also bought the letters, but I bought the letters before I saw Mel. Thompson's review of this where she said she got like 10 letters. I don't really have a lot of letters in here either and honestly Once I saw the product in person because I didn't see it in person before I ordered it I was kind of like underwhelmed once I saw it in person. Yeah, I have like I don't know There's not a lot though. Anyway, it was only like 18 bucks But I think this one is definitely going back to Ulta because I don't want to just like keep stuff and use stuff and then return it um, also one of my goals for 2018. So yeah, kind of cheapy, not interested in trying it, but let's get into like doing makeup. So one of my favorite new things that I picked up are these Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potions. The holiday set was on sale, so if it's still on sale, I would recommend it. It's good, I wouldn't pay a full price for a primer, but if I can get it on a sale, I'm like, sure, why not, you know? So I like this. I used to just use like a concealer, um, but now that I have that, I use it. And then this is the Real Techniques brush from that like Galactic collection. And it's synthetic, so I like to use it to put my base on. And so I thought, you know, I'm not very good at talking and doing makeup, but I thought today I would like to talk about some new releases. The really, the big one I wanted to talk about was actually the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. Like, can somebody please explain to me what's going on at Urban Decay and why they thought such a uninspiring palette was what they needed to launch in 2019? So I'm thinking I'm gonna do the similar shades to my sweater. So I'm gonna go into the shade Flamingo from the Dena, Della, how do I say this? Reina Del Caribe Eyeshadow Palette Volume 2. So this is the new one. And then I just grabbed a Morphe R39 brush, which I've had forever. And honestly, this brush is in such bad shape. Um, but I've heard so many good things about this, these palettes or this, the first volume that I just couldn't wait anymore. So I guess you could definitely say this is a brand I'm technically trying in 2019 because I have not put these on my eyes yet, even though I bought them in 2018. Um, and yeah. So can I add that to my list <laughs> of brands I tried in 2019? It was like the Almar Cosmetics brand. This is blending gorgeously. This is definitely a more muted pink. Usually I love putting like really bright pinks in my crease. I don't know why, but I just do. So, 
that's good. And then let me see if there is a shade in the first palette that I can use to deepen it out. So I'm going to use uh, Guanta... I don't know how to say that. That red shade, like a berry. Oh, this one doesn't have a mirror. Good thing I have my simple human mirror on my table here. <laughs> so... Okay, so back to, yeah, let me talk about the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. Like, I woke up today early because I had to go to the bathroom. Does that ever happen to you guys? So I woke up at 4 a.m. because I needed to use the bathroom, and I was sitting in the bathroom, scrolling through my phone, which is what I usually do. So if you ever, guys, if you ever see me comment on something at, like, 4 a.m. or 3 a.m., just know that I'm in the bathroom commenting on your YouTube stuff or your Instagram stuff. That didn't really do much to deepen out my outer V. Maybe I'll go into this shade, which is like a dark brown. Just tap that on the edge a little bit. I just want to give it some depth. So anyway, so yeah, I woke up and I was on the bat on the toilet. I was on the bathroom and I was checking out this palette and I was like, is Urban Decay has Urban Decay lost their goddamn minds? Like that's literally how I felt. I swear the Naked palette was such an iconic palette when it first came out, but that is not the world we live in anymore. There's a hundred million neutral palettes, and I just can't imagine that nobody that works at Urban Decay didn't think like, hey, why don't we do multiple Naked palettes for different skin tones? Because the one they're coming out with, the new one, I can't imagine working on a lot of different skin tones, which bothers me. And I'm like, it's 20 freaking 19 people. Like, how are we not making multiple, you know, options for different skin tones? So it's been driving me crazy. I feel like once I tried to deepen it out, I really lost the pink, which is kind of bothersome to me. This one, honestly, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I don't really understand these colors. Like, it's not very cohesive. That's okay. I mean, you know, sometimes these palettes, like, force me to be out of the box. But yeah, that pink shade on me, not as vibrant as I would like for a pink on my skin tone. Um, but now I'm going to move on and put this shade Tumbao, this one, because I'm trying to match like my sweater. And this is like a copper. So let's see if I put that on my lid. Like, do I need to foil it? Is it pigmented? What's the tea? Because people have been on and on and on about these Olimar Cosmetics palettes. So it's definitely not showing up. I'm just using like a de regular like synthetic brush and trying to like just pat it on. So it's not really popping on my lid. Let me go in here and see. So this shade is kind of pretty too, the La Costa. It's definitely lighter um, than what I usually use as a lid shade, but look at that one. It is going on a little bit better than um, the one in the second palette. You guys, I'm so picky about my shimmers. It's unreal. I expect like when I dip into the brush that I will pick up pigment. So my favorite, one of my favorite shimmer formulas, this is a little colored rain palette that I made because I depotted some of my colored rain shadows. And like, it's unreal. Like if I dip into one of these shadows and let me just do it. I don't even care. So this is like a, um, shimmer shade look at that pigmentation like if you if your shadow is not doing this like this is not a wet brush I haven't wetted this brush I'm totally losing track because like I don't have time for shades that don't foil when there's stuff like colored rain out there like I'm not gonna fuss with your palette and foil it and stuff when I have these gorgeous shades just like sitting in my drawer you know what I mean so I think sometimes I feel like I'm so picky, but it's because I have good shadows that glide on my lid and look so beautiful, and the color I put down is the color I get. So I'm a little bit disappointed in this Alamar palette, especially because I bought both of them. And I don't know, I don't love the shades, the shimmer shades I just tried and now I've completely switched over to colored rain. Isn't that so much prettier? So that's kind of bothersome. I am excited though for this these colors. I want to kind of play with them more so I will do a review of this for you guys but I wanted to do a get ready with me just to kind of you know 
kick things off and start testing these. First impressions are not going so hot for me with these. God, I can't pick anything up with this brush on this freaking palette. That is so frustrating and such a waste of money. I hate you. I don't hate using my finger, but I don't prefer it. I know some people are so good at see like I can't I get makeup everywhere when I use my finger um, because probably because I have big fat fingers. So it's frustrating for me. I like to use a brush and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just my preference. Um, like I said, some people love to use their fingers to do their makeup, but that is not me. And this makeup look is not satisfying to me, but I'm not going to start over because I want you guys to like see it. So let's just move on to the rest of my face. So this is how I usually do my makeup in the morning. I'll do my eyes first so that I can get rid of fallout. And um, now I'm going to use the Flower Light Illusion All Day Wear Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen Foundation. This is in the shade Sable D1 and it is the Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel All Day Wear. Da, 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 da. I have had this for a while. I've worn this a few times on my skin already and so far it's good. Um, is it like my all-time favorite like must-have foundation? I don't think it's there yet, but I do like it. I think it's good. I'm in such a foundation rut right now and I did pick this up when it was on sale on Ulta and then this is just a beauty blender. I did clean it even though it looks dirty and this has a pump. This is a little bit more pricey. Um, I think like what is it like? Is it like twelve or thirteen dollars? I don't know. I remember thinking like, whoa, that's pricey. So that's why I got it only when I found it on sale. I do like the coverage. It is definitely a dewier foundation. So if you have oily skin, you probably won't like this one. Flower Beauty, I think for me has been one of the uns unsung heroes in my on my channel. Like I know I hear a decent amount of people talking about Flower Beauty, but I don't think I've done my part to tell you guys. Um, about Flower Beauty, I love their blushes. They make good blush. They make good highlighters. That's pretty much all I've tried from them. I do want to try the concealer of this um, foundation, but I haven't gotten around to it. And honestly, I don't need any more concealer right now. But see, it's like decent coverage. The color match is good. I mean, I like wing this on the internet. And it's definitely dewy. So you can see like my skin is definitely glowing from it. So I like it and it's affordable so I don't feel bad putting it on to go to work and stuff which you know I work a not, like an 8 to 5 job so I um, don't and I obviously work like every day so I don't need to have like an expensive foundation that I use every day. So this is not meant to be a favorites video, but honestly, I have fallen back in love with this freaking concealer. I don't care to use any of my other concealers. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Ginger, and I love using this on my under eyes. It just glides, you guys, it's like butter. So if you guys have really dry under eyes, honestly, this baby is amazing. And you don't even need a whole lot. So this has lasted me a really long time. I'm slowly starting to make like a huge dent in it, but I have not hit pan yet. And then my favorite powder, honestly, is this guy. Um, this is a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade medium too. Now this does kick up a lot of product, but I like it because I do feel like my brush actually picks up powder. A lot of the times with pressed powder, I don't think my brush is picking anything up and I feel like it's pressed so hard that it's not actually setting anything on my face. So I'm happy to have a nice um, powder that actually picks up and sets my face. So love that guy. And then usually I like to do my brows, but I don't really need to show that on camera. It's not very complicated. So I will be right back. Okay. So I just filled in my brows a teensy weensy bit and I'm grabbing my Anastasia clear brow gel. This is honestly my favorite thing to set my brows with. And I also sometimes literally run this through my baby hairs because my baby hairs get wild and 
it just really helps set everything for me. So now I need some eyeliner. I'm gonna go to, let's see here, I have my little eyeliner pile. I did buy some of these Marc Jacobs pencils during the sale and I really like this shade. So I'm gonna put some in my waterline. I'm also still waiting for a brand to come out with the perfect nude waterline shade for different skin tones. I feel like that's something that's definitely lacking in the market. Um, and it's so frustrating for me as like a tan girl because there's so many nude pencils but they are all for people with lighter skin tones. I think the deep skin tones and the medium skin tones definitely have a harder time finding one because if I use like a like a light colored one, it I don't know, it just doesn't look right. So I'm just gonna take this wet and wild brush and put some of this shade flamingo on my lower lash line. This is definitely not a very adventurous eyeshadow look. And I feel bad because I shouldn't be judging this palette. But this second palette, I already feel like I hate it. Like, not hate it, but it's like, ooh, like why did I buy it? The color combo is really tricky, so keep that in mind when you buy it. <laughs> okay, now let's go into the Chloe and Malika palette. This one, a lot of people have had questions. Um, on if it's suitable for deeper skin tones and because Malika is a deeper skin tone for me I feel like this is gonna be a good blush palette. I'm gonna try the bronzer now This is my Marc Jacobs bronzer brush. Yes, it's dirty. Do I care? No um, I've just been using the BH Ooh, The BH cosmetics uh, bronzer which is like 10 bucks from Ulta is this giving me like a highlight or am I just like losing my shit? It's showing up, right? I can't tell. Flip. In the camera, I feel like I can see it and I like it. <laughs> so you guys let me know down in the comments. And then this blush shade has just been like calling my name. And I like this brush from Morphe. This is an R14. I feel like it really digs into a blush. Really helps pick up the product. So, oh, I love how glowy this thing is. It's just like a very glowy palette. So pretty. And then I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush and hop into this shade, which is the highlighter. Put some on my nose. Put some over here, down here. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna spray my face. And I've been trying to use up this Camelon D Locket spray. It has it has a very fine mist, so that's really nice. Okay, and then for lip, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite lips of 2018. This is Morphe. This is True Story, right? Yep, True Story. It's just like the most beautiful nude. It's like the exact color of my sweater. And you guys know I talk a lot of shit about Morphe. I'm not going to deny it. But these are a hidden gem in my opinion because they're only 10 bucks. And now I need to do mascara. I just opened up this new mascara. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Volume. And then I always like to curl my lashes. I'm going to be doing a video that's a almost full face of Wet n Wild soon because I did pick up a lot of their new eyeshadow palettes and I have some of their new blushes, so I'm excited. Is there a better feeling than a new mascara? I think not. <laughs> this is beautiful. I like that it's like separating my lashes. And this is supposed to be waterproof, so I'll keep you guys posted. Um, this has been one of my favorite bottom lash mascaras. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Length, but it has like a really skinny brush. And I have like the longest lower lash line lashes, so I always get 
mascara under my eye, which is like 99 Problems. So I like uh, the brush. I don't think it's putting enough mascara on my eyes, but it's kind of a nice natural look. Also, I don't think like this should be a justifier. Like, oh, it's only like four or five dollars, but realistically, yeah, it's only four or five dollars. So can you even be that mad about it? Okay, I'm going in with my third coat of mascara now. And just do some cleanup. Okay, the look is done. I'm going to go do my hair and I will be right back with you guys. Okay guys, here is the final look with all the new makeup I just tried out and some of my tried and true makeup as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you guys again for suggesting that I test these out first. Um, so thank you to everyone that responded to my community tab poll. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video soon. Bye!